It's Thursday, and we're going grocery shopping together. You're excited, aren't you, Rick? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I thought so. <laughs> we'll see what we can come up with. Rick's driving. It's a little rainy. I just thought I'd tell you because I was noticing on the camera that my hair is kind of doing like a wavy thing. And that's because Brianna has changed my life because she showed me how you can let your hair dry without a blow dryer and still look nice. It's wavy, but it's nice. I was like, Brianna, you changed my life. So <laughs> I just thought I'd explain it to you in case you were looking alone. Amanda, there's something different with your hair. That's what it is. Okay, we are getting ready to leave our discount grocery store. And I don't know if you guys have this happen when you take your husband shopping with you. Guilty party. <laughs> <laughs> but I spent way more than I usually do. Now, still under budget at the moment. We're at $28.41. And we did get one extra little ice cream thing that was $1.50. I'm taking that out of our entertainment budget because we're going to enjoy that today <laughs> rather than eating out. <laughs> but anyway, um, that was $1.50. So I think we spent $28.41. So we have like $3 left to go to Aldi. So um, hmm, we'll see what we can do with that. But we did get a ton of stuff. I think we got enough meat. I mean, this is a weekly grocery shopping trip. But we probably got enough meat. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, at least nine meals. So, and then we already have meat in the house. I really didn't need to buy any, but they were all like a dollar each. So I really couldn't pass that up. That was a really great bargain. So anyway, off to Aldi. We'll see what we can do. Rick, you're gonna keep me on budget, right? Uh, $3, yes ma'am. He looks committed. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we did it. We spent $3 and some change. So we pretty much stayed on budget. We did good. So we're gonna go home and show you what we got. And there's sirens. But praise the Lord, we're okay. <laughs> I, Ricky's driving to college today. We might run over to college and check on the car and make sure he's good. So we'll see you in a minute. I got my third wheel behind me. What? <laughs> so Rick and I got home and we've unloaded our groceries and they're on the table. I'm going to show them to you and I'm also going to show you on the board our totals. So let me give you a glance at everything and then we'll talk about the totals. Look at all that. That is a lot of stuff for $30 and I have my receipts right here. So I have my discount grocery store. The total was $28.41. Now remember I said I spent $1.50 on something that's going on our entertainment budget, so I took that off. And then $3.85 at Aldi, look on the board, here's the numbers. So the total was $30.76. I am on budget. Yes, I am. That is amazing. I do not have my menu up. Um, Friday, tomorrow, would you believe that my family has requested Sloppy Joe's again? You're going to see all the stuff for it down here. I'm not kidding you, and this is not me just trying to be cheap. They've requested it again. They are really in just kind of in a Sloppy Joe's kind of mood. So we're going to be doing that again. Um, I've also had a request for chicken soup. We haven't had chicken soup very much lately, so we're going to be doing that on there. And Rick asked it for fajoli, so we're going to get that. So beyond that, I don't know quite what I'm making just yet. We're going to finalize that today and give you the menu for the week tomorrow. Tomorrow, speaking of which, tomorrow's frugal family food and tomorrow we have Bandana Grandma coming on and I really, really like her. Like I, I just like her. She's my kind of person. Like I see me being her in a few years. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I really like her. And uh, she gave a little bit of advice on her video. I, I want you to check out the video just for the advice on uh, what happens if it's like five minutes before your husband's coming home from work and you haven't started dinner, what you should do. I thought that was really good advice. But she is making a creamed hamburger dish which um, I, I thought actually looked really, really good. So easy, frugal, quick everything you need in a, in a dish. So she is a mother, I think she said of six children. I think she said six children, um, but they're all grown and out of the house. Now she has grandchildren. So she has the experience and the know-how to tell you about frugal quick dinners. So you definitely want to check out Bandana Grandma tomorrow. I'm going to link her up here, her channel, if you want to be on the lookout for that tomorrow. So, but first, let me show you. My, oh, so anyway, tomorrow when I tell you about, uh, tomorrow when I um, introduce Bandana Grandma's video a little bit more, I'll give you my menu and then you can see it all. So let me just show you what I bought. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start with Aldi because that is our small thing that we got and that was our $3. The only thing we got Rick said go in and just get some fruit because he wanted some fruit. I said, great idea. We haven't bought it in a while because we had all those apples and mandarins and things. So we kind of kind of switched it up a little bit. We got some bananas because we haven't had them in a while since we got all those other bananas. So here's bananas. Happy day. Good to have them. And I think we got, um, let's see, one bag is 2.85 pounds and the other is 1.72 pounds. Bananas were on sale at Aldi, I don't know if you can see that, for 39 cents a pound. So I paid $1.78 for all of this banana. So that was pretty good, I thought. And then over here was $1.99 for a bag of navel oranges. So that was really good. So that was our $3.85 at all these. So then we went to our discount grocery store. And I'm going to show you what all we got. This is my 150 entertainment budget purchase because we're going to eat this up here in just a second as soon as I get off the camera. <laughs> so um, this is our frozen Greek yogurt. This is our snack and our treat. And uh, we're going to have that this afternoon. And uh, that was $1.50. So the rest of the things we got, um, Rick wanted some steak sauce. And that was a dollar, so it's like an A1. I told you in my um, Sloppy Joe video that I did not have Worcestershire sauce, and so they had it for 79 cents. So I got that. And of course, for Sloppy Joes, you need buns. And these uh, Pepperidge Farm Golden Potato Hamburger Buns, they were 75 cents each. So that's really good. Excited about that. Right here, black beans. I've been looking for them. They were 69 cents. I cannot believe. You know, I'm so used to buying beans at my discount grocery store. I cannot believe how much they cost in a regular store nowadays. I was shocked. I looked the other day and I was like, wow. So anyway, 69 cents. Happy day. A uh, pack of marshmallows. They were 50 cents. Um, we're going to make some more treats with that. Uh, diced tomatoes. I got four cans of diced tomatoes. Two are Italian diced and two are regular diced. They're 50 cents each. Two cans of corn for 50 cents. And uh, Rick wanted some cream style corn, so that was 50 cents. See, I always buy extra when he's around. And then um, back here, back hiding back here, I have four bags of the instant mashed potatoes. Haven't had to purchase those in a while, and they are so convenient. I just really want to, uh, it's convenient sake. I'm, I'm a busy lady, so that was that. Uh, 50 cents each. This gluten-free pancake mix. It's got the Funfetti candy bits in it, but I'm just really excited because it's gluten-free. It was only a dollar. Super excited about that because remember we got all those pancakes for like 29 cents. Well, Ricky didn't have any. Guess what? I'm going to fry these up and then Ricky's going to have some frozen pancakes and then we can have lots of really good pancake meals. Uh, black tea, they had, I don't, I was all, I'm like halfway through my box of black tea, but we don't have it too, too often, but it was 50 cents for the whole box, so that was a pretty good deal. Uh, likewise, this raspberry lemonade back here was 50 cents for the, um, I guess the container of it, I don't know what you want to say. <laughs> These peppers were a dollar for three peppers, and I needed some, so that's that. But the most exciting thing to me this week was all of the meat I got. Look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packages of meat, so nine meals I can make. And uh, they're super inexpensive, you just could, you, you just can't beat the price. So these um, Italian style uh, select sausages, it's um, roasted tomato, basil, and oregano, Italian style herb, uncured cooked sausage, no artificial ingredients, no artificial preservatives, no added MSG, and no nitrates. So really excited about that. And uh, we got two of those. They were $1.19 each. Uh, four packages of ground turkey that were 99 cents each. You see one, two, three, four back here. So those are perfect for everything, right? And then this was kind of exciting to me. Um, I've not tried these before. It's five chopped beef steaks formed and frozen. So it's 20 ounces of beef for two dollars and I thought that was a really good price per pound you really can't beat it and when you actually look at it let's see if I can find it. it's nice and nice nice and pink and attractive and looks good everything's in date so feel really good about it so um, I got, went ahead and got three of them they had pepper steaks too but I just got the plain steaks and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try those so all of that, which I think was really a lot for the money, since you know a good portion of the things were 50 cents each, was the $28.41. So that is what's going to make up our menu this week. 
So I'm really excited with what we got. I think we got a lot of great deals. I'm glad that my discount grocery store filled up like their freezer's been empty the past few weeks that I've been in there. I'm glad that they're filling up and I'm glad that things are going well there. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put this away and we're gonna enjoy Rick's day off with him and hang out with him. And uh, we'll catch you tomorrow with our menu plan. I'll put it on the board and you guys can check it out. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also, if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it, because there's way more details there. And uh, here, over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Bye!